Hey, what's happening? So, I just got in for a little ride. Uh, little man's bouncing off the red, red limiter. I've got another 13 tooth on there still. <clears throat> so I'm going to go pop it back to 14. 14 is ultimately the best. 15 seems too tall for this little guy. For what I'm doing. I mean, if you consider race applications on a big, huge track, okay, great. If you consider, for a 15 tooth, if you consider small stuff, a small track or something like that, for uh, the 13 tooth, great. Do it to it. Uh, for everyday driving, man, 14 has got it. 14 is it. Um, I'm going to put it back on this guy. I'll tell you what, the, uh, the Grom dude at work found that there is a gnarled thumb screw for this little guy to adjust the idle. Holy shit, because I noticed it wasn't in the bizarre stuff. Uh, oh, I got my wide, uh, wide band sensor, my O2 sensor. I got that module, so the mapping sensor for, from Bizazz, I got that. I'm still waiting on the fuel controller, so that should be here this week, maybe next week, something like that. Um, so, I'll pile up parts. Oh man, a guy at work makes beer, and he got me some. Hold on, I'll put it in right here. How was that shit? Wasn't that cool? Um, so anyhow, yeah, yeah, these go quick. So anyhow, uh, what else? The oil seal on the shift shaft has been replaced. Uh, warranty item, how freaking cool is that? Uh, the stuff I have on order, like I said, I got the O2 sensor and the mapping module. Shit, I should have got that and got a picture. <sighs> Hold up, I'll do that too. Hold up. Yeah, so that's cool. So I got that. I got that guy, and I'm still waiting on the ZFI, so the fuel injector controller jobber. I'm going to take a gander, because like I said, the Grom guy at work found that there's some kind of a screw down there to adjust your idle. That would be great. And he also said SteadyGarage.com has... Uh, a gnarled thumb screw so you can adjust it by fingers instead of using a screwdriver, which will be awesome. I haven't found out where this one is yet. I'll take a look and I'll update you. Or if there is one or if there isn't one. I think there should be. Um, oil thing's been done. Going back to 14 tooth sprocket. Uh, bizazz. Uh, I'm also getting the Zeus armor stunt cage. And then the uh, side protection jobbers and the frame steadier maker thing. So I could just be a hooligan and be a dumbass. Uh, some people ask, hey, Tom, you plan on replacing your bars? <laughs> oh, maybe after I bend them, I will replace them. Uh, then will come the quarter turn throttle, the new grips, the new bar, the new triple tree maybe there, man in the box? Could be. Um, what else is coming? There's something coming. Gnarl thumb screw. Uh, oh shit. The reason I. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, the reason I knew that was here is because I was going over to our parts department and I was ordering a map switcher. So I mount it somewhere up here where I could switch my fuel maps. Uh, you know, I have one and two to see which does better and which occasion. So I'll be able to switch out. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I'll do stop. Fuck, I'll play with it. You know what? I may even upload maps to Bizazz so you can download them. So since I've got the O2 sensor, at least, uh, you know, everybody's got the same exhaust pretty much. So if you have the, the Yoshimura exhaust and then you have, uh, you know, maybe some type of intake. In my case, I have a Chimera intake with a Sprint filter. Uh, you know, I'll do the mapping and then, you know, you can take it if you want. Check it out. At least you're not going to blow your shit up, you know. At least you'll know what happened and what it looks like. All right, well, I'm going to get to work and play around, put the new sprocket on, and then I'll check out the uh, idle screw if it's got one. All right, thanks. Oh, before that comes that. Hey, fucking jack off. Oh, oh scheiße. Oh, Mensch. Danke. Got him. Got him. Yeah, I don't need a flashlight. So anyway, so that's it. Let me get a screwdriver. So I just, I just changed my sprocket out. 
I drank a lot of beer. But this screw right here. Oh, what the hell am I looking at? All right, here we go. So this guy right here, see this little white line? They're trying to body check you. Because that's what the government wants to do. But anyway, so it limits the uh, distance this guy goes back. So watch. I'm going to crank the throttle. Wonk. That's what the throttle is, right? So that's your throttle stop. Bonk. That's where it stops. Pow. Done. So if you could make that go in further, you could reduce your... Uh, idle RPMs because that's kind of cock blocking you. So we're going to loosen this and this is basically a lock nut. Let's see if we can get under it. Ow, engine's hot. There's a lock nut and then there's this fucking screw. There's no head to it or anything. I don't know what's on the other side of this. I'll look. But what I did order from Steady Garage is a knurled thumb screw. So it's going to be, I can adjust it with my hand and then that will be maneuverable. You know, just on the fly. So we'll see what we can do about moving this little guy. Let's see what kind of uh, jobber it's got on the end. So the nut that's on here, that guy's a seven millimeter. That's a hex uh, hex head jobber on the end of that that threaded shit. Uh, I got it all the way out. I I got it at a decent RPM. It's not uh, the greatest idle, but it's below 2,000, so life's good. Uh, what was I going to do? I'm going to try to take baffle out of this thing. I, I uh, thread locked it. I thread locked that baffle, and I pretty much stuck him in there, so we'll see what we can do. I just want it out. I don't want to be noisy, because you do notice the noise difference at, uh, at speed when you're ripping down the road. I want as much airflow as I can get and I'm gonna feed it some fuel and I'm gonna call it a day. Uh. <laughs> there you go Sarge. Alright, here we go. Man, do not put the fucking silencer in there and apply a thread lock to this unless you fucking mean it. I've been spending a lot of beer, sorry, a lot of time trying to get this fucking thing off. I grabbed it with pliers on the outside and finally got it off. I ended up stripping the hex nut out. I'm trying to get this dumb silencer fucking shit out. Uh, note from Uncle Tom. Don't put thread locker on there. Let it fucking fall out. Whatever. But don't fucking do that. Let it fucking breathe. Let it go. Let it fucking do its thing. Anyway... So I showed you the screw for the idle. I did that fucking thing. Let's go ahead and start this bitch up. I haven't started it. Let's see what happens. I turn this thing.